we had a great day today. Uh, started off the morning at Bach, great ice session, hour and a half. Uh, everybody went through the drills, they got a good sweat in, a little break, a little lunch, then down to the classroom. The on ice session was getting the guys out there, getting them uh, to start skating like a referee. You know, we're playing, we're crossing over, and we're, our heads are all constantly on a swivel when we're playing, and when we're reffing, we want to be in control, we want to be uh, have our demeanor nice and, nice and calm not crossing over as much and just starting to skate like a referee. I think the biggest thing they can learn is how to be better and how to represent refereeing and, and referees and officials across the board as more professional organization. You know, the biggest complaint by some coaches is we're out there and they're out for the check. Well, we want to we want to be better than that. But also advancing into the higher levels, you need to know not only those basics, but just skating alone. Just the ability to work on your skating, you don't get to do that unless you go to a camp, say run by USA Hockey or someone else. Um, just being able to work on that and understand how important skating is, huge for these guys, absolutely huge. And the positioning and the signals, being crisp, being able to practice those, that's important, and they get that here, and you really can't get that anywhere. Good to get back, good to uh, go through the drills and in the scenarios that you would face on the ice, which is always good. And, you know, when we get into the classroom, just seeing those scenarios and in the games that, uh, you know, some of the people amongst us have been, have been working and, and seeing the breakdown and having us break it down, it just, you know, really helps us for when we do get into those situations on the ice. You know, we already have the thought process going of, the decisions that we need to make. Uh, sure, a lot of the things um, that help me personally are videos, because I get to, especially videos of me working, because I get to see what I'm doing correctly, what I'm not doing correctly. It helps me change it so that I can go out and do better. Um, also, the on ice guidance with power skating. I mean, skating is such a big part of refereeing. We have to be able to put ourselves in the best spot to make to make the right call. So, uh, guys like Gino and Mark Riley heading out there skating with us. That 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 helps us a lot. Because right after the ice today, they were they were out there helping me with some. I mean, I'm a good skater, but I still have a lot to learn. So. Well, it's nice to be in a nice, uh, calm environment when you're not out there and you don't have to make a split second decision, and you can actually have uh, create some good discussion with it. And we had a lot of different opinions and a lot of different uh, a lot of different views on different hits and situations. Like some guys might think it's a minor, some guys might think it's a major, and then we can go over it and why is it a major and why are we calling a minor there. What I'm trying to get through today is as, as you, most of the people saw it today was gaining confidence, making sure the teamwork and when your voice is heard that it means something. It's not just uh, something in passing. You saw something, you want to be able to communicate what you saw to, the, to the, the, the lead official and and the other side of that, the lead official understanding that, hey, you brought something to the table, we must assess it and the best interest of player safety. These guys are trying to get better and learn from everybody else's mistakes as you saw some of the videos today. But that's the power of the group. There was a lot of shared knowledge in here today. Different people brought a lot of different things. It wasn't Gene Binder talking about how it's gonna get done. There was a lot of knowledge in the room and thank God uh, for, for these guys that are willing to share their experiences without feeling like they've done something wrong. Here you get together um, and not only do you get together and see guys and you know be able to catch up, share a story or two, but with Gene running the thing, He's, you know, he wants this, a certain standard set, and by showing everyone this is the standard, now we can build that consistency. And consistency is a huge word we throw around in officiating, but it, it's actually one of the most important words. I mean, even if you're consistently bad, at least the coaches, the players know what they're getting. So consistency is important, and I think by, by hearing it from the boss, so to speak, um, it, you know, and seeing what he's looking for, and what uh, Gene Jr. and myself, some guys who are supervising, what we're looking for, um, it helps everyone kind of get on the same page. And that way it's not completely different one game to the next, one referee to the next, it's more, there's more consistency. Yeah, so on the ice, when we're out there with a bunch of different guys, a bunch of different officials, we get to see how they skate, we get to see how they move on the goal line, all that, so you really get to learn what they're doing, and if you like something they're doing, try it out. See how it works for you. We want these guys to think they're part of a family and they're supported by us when they're making those major penalty calls or any situations where they're removing a, a coach from a game. And uh, if they did it right or wrong, we can, we can walk them through it. Again, I'd like to thank Paul Coquinos for his uh, time for us today at Bach Ice Center and Rick Tuzo here at uh, Foxborough Ice Center for letting us use this room. It's, it's, it's 
just a great thing that they want to see the progression as the officials as much as we do.